some of the big stories in the markets. Kevin Hinks is with us, Senior Equities Contributor here on Schwab Network. SBF sentence is 25 years. It's less than he could have gotten, and this was all part of his F role in FTX. Um, tell us a little bit more about the breaking news here. Kevin Hinks. Yeah, you know, convicted on all seven counts of what he was accused of. He got 25 years in prison. That is less than the 40 to 50 years prosecutors wanted, a lot more than the five to six years that his defense attorneys wanted. But he also had to pay $11 billion in penalties. The judge said he showed a lack of remorse. The judge said he has the possibility of future crimes. The judge also said when he started his presentation that he committed perjury three times while on the stand. He obstructed justice. He tampered with witnesses. Uh, he had a lot to talk about. But that said, he still gave him what most people are saying is a light sentence at about half of what the prosecution what was asking for. Now, he's probably going to be at a medium security prison or less. He's probably going to spend, probably have to serve two thirds of that with good behavior and other things. And that, Nicole, if he doesn't get pardoned first. Well, at the same time, I mean, I know that he's going to be appealing. Yeah. So um, we'll have a, the story is not over yet. But today, obviously, big crowds here yeah. um, in New York City for this. In the meantime, shifting gears, we did get some economic data, important data. What were you watching when it all came out? The third look at fourth quarter GDP came out this morning. Um, a, a, an interesting Normally, you don't get big revisions on the third look, but we did from 3.2% to 3.4% on GDP, on personal consumption expenditures from 3% to 3.3%. It was interesting. Uh, current personal income got revised upward. Disposable personal income got revised downward, and savings got revised slightly upward. So kind of an interesting take there on how the income metric uh, played out. But as we know, the money ball for this week, what's going to really move the market should be the PCE data that we're going to get from personal income and outlays tomorrow. But the markets are closed, Nicole. And not only that, Jerome Powell is speaking tomorrow. So that could make Sunday night and Monday morning quite interesting, Nicole. Right, I know. I I, I want to get to Monday already, just so I can see what. Whoa, all whoa, this is. whoa, we whoa, whoa, whoa! We don't want to go that far. I don't want to get Easter. Hold on. I yeah. know. I love Easter. So, um, okay, that was a great wrap up. PCE tomorrow, folks. So we'll watch for that. Thank you for all of that, Kevin Hanks. Appreciate it.